So you think you're gonna keep one? Yeah. Yeah? I wanna keep one now too. Yeah. Good morning guys, it is the next day. Welcome back to another episode of Dog Dad. So in today's video, we are painting the dog's toenails. I saw this really cute comment the other day because the dogs keep losing their collars. Why not paint one of their toenails the color that their collars are so I can remember their names. And now I won't have to worry about the collars strangling them and getting caught on the Velcro in the pad. So we're gonna head over to Joey's to do that. I'm also gonna go feed Monty her breakfast. Also, how cute is this shirt? So my friend Joan over at the Salt Air Farmhouse, it says love is everything, makes the cutest little shirts and also embroidered canvases, vintage canvas art. This shirt, she actually sent me white, but I of course stained it because I stained everything white like an idiot. And I actually, had it dyed when I had my bedding dyed. So if you guys are looking for a great Christmas gift, these shirts are adorable and there's even like a little heart right there. Can you see it? Let me also show you the canvases that she makes. She makes these gorgeous, so these are vintage canvases, painter's canvases, and she embroiders it with whatever you want. Like it can say love, it can say love is love, home, family, whatever. I had Hollywood land because I live in the 19... 52 bungalow in the hills here in Hollywood. And this is actually what the Hollywood sign used to say. It used to say Hollywood Land. So what Hollywood Land was, it was actually a realty group. So they sold home. So it was actually a promotion for a real estate company. And then they took off the Hollywood Land because I don't think that's around anymore. But anyways, I'm jabbering, I'm flabbering. She's fabulous, they're amazing. I'll link her down below. So these are the nail varnishes. Sally Hansen sent these over for pride. These are the socks I'm wearing. I think I'm gonna do a gift guide because I'm I'm really, really, I'm a great shopper and I buy really cute stuff and you guys are always complimenting and commenting on it. You guys, I saw a lot of comments about this vest that I was wearing in a video. This is from Patagonia. It is reversible. So it has like the Sherpa on the inside and then this forest green and rust. This is such a great gift. It's a little on the pricier side, but it is really great quality. Like I know I'll have this forever. These socks are my favorite. I really want to have my own sock line one day because I love cozy cabin socks. These are from a brand that I love on the East Coast called Kiel James Patrick. Very East Coast vibes. I don't really like a ton of their clothes. Because, not that I don't like it, it's just not my style, but their socks are amazing. I think these are 12 bucks. Great deal. This is another pair that I got. It has these little cabins on it. They're adorable. These ones I think were on sale for 10 bucks. These might be 12 or 14 or 16. I'm not sure, but they're really nice quality and they're super cozy. I'm wearing these like light jeans. I'm going to wear my Nike high tops and this vest probably and the t-shirt. Also, this is my fragrance right now. It's called Barfly by Scotch and Soda. One of the best fragrances if you're looking for a more masculine scent for yourself or for a guy in your life or really for anyone, this is such a gorgeous scent. This is the scent that they use in their stores and I finally caved and I bought it. I rarely buy fragrances because I have so many, but this one, is my favorite. It's sweet and musky, but also it's just, it's a beautiful scent. Highly, highly recommend. And while I'm at Joey's, I'm gonna be baking a few more breads. You guys like the ones that you saw in his video, so I will make sure that I film it this time and put it up on my Instagram Reels. So if you're not following me over on Instagram Reels, make sure to do that. I'm also gonna make a pie, so I'm bringing my own pie plate because I don't think that he has one. Hi guys, I'm in the car right now heading to Joey's, but I also just wanna thank you for all the love in the other day's video. I addressed some comments that I saw, not on this channel, not on my channel. You guys are always really supportive and wonderful and we built like such a little nice community here. But over on uh, Joey's vlog channel, I went back and forth with the idea that I should even talk about it and I wanted to because the thing about the internet is there can be a thousand positive comments and there can be 10 negative ones and Human nature is to hone in on those 10 negative ones and take them to heart. And it's something that I've always struggled with. Always, always, always. Like, if you guys are here from the beginning, my ex Joey and I, we we were together for nearly seven years, six years publicly and one year kind of behind the scenes. Not a lot of you know that like I was, I. I took a different approach in life. I was, I went to college, I moved out to LA, I had, I got a job, I was interning, and then I got into a very public relationship that was just like something I was not trained or ready for. And I was thrown into an audience of like, so at the time of us getting together, he had like 4 million subscribers. And then throughout the years together, he quickly grew up to like 9 million. So I've always been a smaller creator, but I was thrown in front of an audience of that many and like, 
nitpicked and about like three like four years into our relationship like after being in hundreds and hundreds of videos and producing music videos with him and escape the night and everything it finally just got to me like the comments just got to me I kept like reading those comments and taking them to heart even though I shouldn't have and it broke me it got to a point where it affected our relationship it wasn't the cause for a breakup but it was the reason why if you guys remember there was a period of time where I immediately stopped being in his videos and that was because of the comments. I was sick of the comments of our relationship. I was sick of the comments telling me what kind of person I was because I'm a more serious, more upfront, more aggressive person. I'm not like gentle and sweet and always like in a great mood like he is. Like I, I'm a little more serious. I think I'm a little more mature, a little more of an adult and that's not a bad thing. It's one of the reasons I love Joey. And one of my favorite things about him is that like inner child that he's always held on to. So I think people just seeing like the vast differences and not really enjoying me and it's a small amount of people because I mean I'm amazing and fabulous duh it just got to me so it stopped me from a lot of things and it changed who I was and it f with me so hard mentally okay without getting into it any further all of that stuff took a really big toll on me and it screwed me up mentally for a long time and things got better at, you know after I went to therapy and I decided to not read into comments anymore I stopped responding I was having somebody respond to comments, but I miss that. I miss, like, I have always been communicative with you guys. Like, I love responding. I respond to DMs. I'm the boy next door. Like, I've never held myself to a standard of, like, I'm holier than thou. I'm better than anybody. Like, I like to respond and create a conversation with you guys because that's the type of person I am. I love talking to people. I think that's something that's always lacked from YouTubers and social media is, like, the the clarity and the realness and the the connection you know life is about connecting with other people and I'm no better than anyone else I have a lot of experience I've lived a lot of different lives and I will I like to talk to you guys and give you like actual advice and be real and when I wasn't allowed to do that it really hurt me and I realized that the good will always outweigh the bad so I wanted to address it this one time just so you guys kind of realize what was going on because I do not want to fall. That's what I didn't do the last time. I didn't ever address it. And a lot of people don't address things because they think it'll just go away, but not when it's this personal and not when it like hurts your soul, you know? So that's why I addressed it in the video the other day. I won't talk about it again because I will not allow that type of commentary on my channel. And I just know that there are more good people out there than there are bad and more people love me like you guys do then hate me. Anyways, anyways, that's it. I'm done getting, I'm done having a heart to heart with you guys about this stupid situation, but I love you very much. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna pick up a turkey as well because I need to put it in a brine. I'm having a friend's giving at my friend's house on Wednesday. I thought I was gonna skip Thanksgiving totally this year, but in my friend group, I'm the only gay that can cook. So I'm gonna be making the turkey, the cranberry sauce, I'm gonna be making some cornbread, I'm gonna be making a cranberry pie, and mashed potatoes, cause <laughs> these bitches can't cook, and I'll, God love them. All right, I'll see you at Joey's in a little bit. Thanks for letting me be open with you guys. Joey, you're gonna scream, look at these bandanas that I got. I got a bunch of these Christmas bandanas. Large. Oh, they're small, there's two in there. Oh, put it around your neck. Tie it. Tighter. Tighter. <laughs> Cute. Red for the, probably boys. red for the boys. And yeah. No, red for the girls. Okay. Green for the boys. Wait, show me the green one. Let's see. Let's see. Green seems more girlish. No, green's, well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> What'd you just say? I said, Daniel's trying to kill our dogs. And first of all, they're not our dogs, they're my dogs. Oh, really? Yeah, they're here on a on a retreat. <laughs> You're trying to poison all the dogs and kill them. That's the title of this video. Uh-huh. Joey tried I, to kill all the dogs. Oh, I did. <laughs> yeah. I'm the one who saved yeah. them. Yeah. Hold on, let me get mine out. And Put you your phone down. In. No. So the d puppies will not be coming to the nail salon until I buy some dog safe. Nail varnish. Oh, so Joey's God. back. He got his little turkey. That is a big mama. It's a 26 pounder. I have my salt <laughs> that's diluting in four quarts of water here. And then I'm gonna pop all of that here into the cooler, which I've cleaned out. I'm gonna add ice in here, obviously, before I pour the hot water in. And then I'm gonna place the bird in. This is a 26 pound bird. 
cooking at like around 350. That should take around four hours-ish. Don't quote me on that. I will put my brine recipe down below, but I might as well take you through it real quick to show you exactly how I'm doing it in case you guys want to do it. And I want to make sure all that salt is dissolved. That's a lot of salt. On to you being my little kitchen helper. She's in a haze. Also, only use kosher salt, but if you're Joey, you can use bath salt, yeah, Epsom, Epsom salt. salt, Galaxy bath bombs. Yeah, magnesium flakes. Yeah, that'd be really, really good, good for you. Have a galaxy turkey. Yeah, I think that's really good. Back yeah. 2015, galaxy Glitter. DIY turkey yeah. dinner. It's, I mean, that, those are your, that's your best content on YouTube. Yeah. Well, it slowly drove me mentally well, insane. Well, a bath. In Orbeez. In Orbeez. So we're gonna fill up this with ice, and then we're gonna pop the brine in. Like I said, only use kosher salt. And we're gonna pour this over the ice. Cold. So to the brine mixture, I added two gallons of water. I'm gonna add some orange juice. And this just gives it flavor. Sugar. No, Sugar. citrus. Sage and citrus are my two favorite things for brining. I'm gonna mash up this garlic really easily like so. You can chop it or you can just take a little, and then you're just gonna throw them in there like that. Same thing with the apples. You can add fruits in there. These are just extra apples that I know Joey's not They're gonna, gonna eat. rot. They would. They would rot because they don't eat them. Yeah. And I bought these for the breads I was doing. You can just throw them in there. And then the same thing with the oranges. This is actually a really fun part. So you can dice them up like however you want. And then just give them like a nice... Squeeze them. Fresh juice. I also have some shallots in the fridge, and then I have some rosemary, some thyme, some of that sage, some oregano. I'm just gonna give this a nice, sometimes the stalks are a little. Stick. Stickler. Sticky. But yeah, just give them a rough chop. Does that like Cuts open up? Cuts off my finger. Um, yeah, this is just extra seasoning. Mm. And all of this will infuse into the bird. Wolfie can't wait. And then also some cranberries. And you can kind of crush these up in your fingers. Oh, really? Yeah. <gasps> pop goes the pop. weasel. Oh, just two get pop. Just two. <laughs> it's regeneration. You can take a sip out if you'd like. I will. Get away from my children. They're my children. Get out children. of there. <gasps> oh my gosh, lime. Fern Gully. Oh my gosh, they're getting, who is that? Aspen. It's time to spend time with Burns me. Her eyes are very far apart. <laughs> well, leave her alone. Okay, who's loud? Come here, everyone. Rosalie. It's the first time you've seen me since they've opened their eyes. Oh. Hi. Hi. She said you're ugly. She did call you that. I heard her. <laughs> Hi, Lime. Oh. Can you see? Oh. They're sleepy. Hello, children. I don't think they can't see yet. They're not coming toward. Oh. Who is? Who's growling? Oh my goodness. That's so crazy. Pink and dark pink. Are they both over? Winter here? and Yara. Who is that? Is that Aspen? I think that is Aspen. So you think you're gonna keep one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What do you think you're gonna keep? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Definitely a girl. Girlish. There's still, what, what do you oh mean? Goodness. What do you mean? Like, Look at this crunched saying, little face over here. Don't pick a favorite yet. Oh. Loud. A voc female pop vocalist. but let's see the teeth, show me. Actually, a little bit of something's coming in. Gumbelina. On the side, they're oh, canine. Oh yeah. Girls. Keith, Keith, Keith. Okay, which one of you am I gonna keep? Both of them? Yeah, both of them. I love these babies. And I love all the babies. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. So Monty was actually pretty light when she was born from the pictures that I saw, but she got darker. So that means the boys will probably... Hi, Aspen, do you love me? You're obsessed with me. Nipples, that's not a nipple. Yeah, she reminds me of Monty a lot. Why are you so good? She loves me. Oh, they all don't love you at all. <gasps> they don't. <laughs> oh. You can't favor her though. You've got to treat them all equally. I do treat them all equally. You wouldn't repeat it back to me if that were the case. What? <laughs> Look at you all lined up. 10 sweet potatoes ready to be baked at 350. Monty's outside. I think she, she wants to feed now. She's like, my titties are big and they hurt. That noise, they're having their Thanksgiving meal. Look at the little tails, how they wag when they're feeding. <laughs> Two more weeks, babes, and then you're done. Right? We can wean at four weeks? Yeah. Digging. Look at how they just suck from the nipple, so their tongue is down. And they're just in a milk coma. <laughs> Blue is fighting because he can't find a nipple. Where's one? Those coats are so beautiful. And now I leave them listening to the Queen of Christmas. Why don't you tell the <laughs> studio audience exactly what you just said to me? I had a really good idea for what? Daniel's channel. What? I think that you should do a video decorating for Christmas. Because so many people want to know how to decorate and you could show them <laughs> decorating in here. Mm, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you think you can afford me? What's your budget? This bottle of wine you requested. I requested it for the grind. <laughs> no, you Come don't on. need it. It's for content. No, it's yeah, not. It's a good idea. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Literally, you guys. Literally, he's a demon. It took me, it took me, like, I decorated for weeks. Yeah, you have time. Christmas is over. <laughs> you see what I mean? You see what I mean? No, I only do paid paid labor. Oh. oh. I could pay you like $100. Maybe like $140 an hour. <laughs> $140 an hour. That's, that's my, that's my rate. Come on, just count. Oh. How about we get, we put one little tree. You know, you have a little tree right there. Yeah. Who did that for you? Do you do that? I don't know. I don't know. Give me that wine. So I am making Joey. This is for his little friend's giving because he, he's not a baker. This is a maple cornbread infused with pumpkin puree. And also I added some sweet corn into it. And on the top, this recipe is over on my reels. It is, if you make one thing, one sweet thing, it's fabulous. You can serve it by itself. You can serve it with ice cream. You can also crumble it up, toss it in an oven for like 10 minutes and use it as breadcrumbs or stuffing. It's so divine. It's over on my reels on Instagram. The only thing that I modified was the sweet corn. I added a quarter cup of sweet corn to the batter and then I sprinkled some on top, but there's a reel that's showing everything over on my Instagram. I'll pop it up right here and then it will be linked down below. And then in the oven, I have this delicious cranberry pie. I know it doesn't look insane, but it is so moist and delicious. You guys can see, let's get it. See the cranberries underneath. I also serve this with vanilla ice cream or whipped cream. It took me maybe 10 minutes to put together and it bakes for an hour and it is so, so good. I call it my Auntie Gretchen's cranberry pie. So good, that is also over on my reels. I just posted that this morning. So definitely go check that out. So easy. I love easy. I like easy baking. Nothing crazy. You know what I mean? Well guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it wasn't really what it sought out to be, but I thought it was entertaining nonetheless. So we are here. I am going to a client's house right now to work on some Christmas decor. But yeah, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And if you guys are looking for some recipes, definitely go check out my Instagram. I will also link them down below. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, drop some love down below in the comments and make sure to leave things better than how you found them. I love you so much. See you in the next one, bye.